Hello Automation Superheroes! My name is Andrew and welcome to Quantratech Solutions Online Superhero Academy. Our goal is to bring you a series of online demos, webinars, and all the technical know-hows about smarter industrial automation. In this episode, I'll show you how to create a TwinCat standard PLC project. In the previous video, I have demonstrated on how to do an online I.O. configuration or auto-scanning of I.O. devices. By now, you should be familiar with the TwinCat 3 engineering environment, connection with the controller, configuration of the target system, creating a TwinCat project, and now ready for the programming part of this series. If not, then feel free to re-watch our previous episodes by clicking the title card above. And if you have any questions, Please do leave a comment below and we'll be glad to answer them. For today, you'll learn to create a PLC project and understand the PLC project template of TwinCat 3. A PLC project contains the objects required to create a controller program, such as pure programming blocks. For example, main programs, function blocks, functions, GVLs, and objects that are additionally required in order to be able to run the program on a PLC, such as reference tasks, library managers, and visualizations. You can also program several PLC projects and run it on different target devices, and define their basic configurations and information in the project settings, such as compiler settings and their other information. To create an application program that can run on the controller, I need to create POUs with declarations and implementation code, or what we call source code. Link the IOs of the controller to the program variables and then configure a task assignment. After checking and debugging, the PLC compiler creates the program code that can be loaded onto the controller. Programming of the project blocks or POUs is supported by the programming language editors and certain further functionalities such as pragmas, refactoring, and the application of ready-made function blocks from the TwinCat 3 PLC libraries. Tools also exist for syntax checking and code analysis, for creating data persistence, and for encrypting the program code that is loaded onto the controller. To create a PLC project, right-click on the PLC node located here on the Solution Explorer and select the command Add New Item. Then, the dialog Add New Item will be opened. Select the standard PLC project and the category PLC Templates and enter a name. I will name my PLC project as Project 1. Then, quit the dialog by clicking on Add. These structures have been created here in the Solution Explorer. With the selected template, the following basic objects appear automatically under the PLC project object, a PLC project, and a project instance. The PLC project contains a library manager, the standard program block main, and a task reference. The task reference there defines the execution of the program block main. We could see that the structure folders, external types, references, DUTs, GVLs, POUs, and VISUs appear automatically under the created PLC project tree. The library manager, which can be accessed by double-clicking on the reference object, already contains the standard libraries containing all functions and function blocks that are required by the IEC 61131-3, a standard POUs for an IEC programming system. This includes basic blocks such as counters, timers, and string functions that can be used subsequently for programming. Next is the DUT folder. DUT means data unit types. In addition to standard data types, you can define your own data types such as structures, enumerations, references, and unions. 
These are created as data type objects. And here is GVL or global variable list. A global variable list is used for declaring, editing, and displaying global variables. If you add a GVL to the project, all the variables declared on that list will apply to the whole project. The POU or Program Organization Unit in the Twincat PLC project is where we can add function, function blocks, and program POU types. In addition, you can add the following programming objects to these objects, such as action, transition, method, and property. If I would now fill the main program with error-free code, I can load it to the controller and run it without the need for further programming objects. And of course, the visualization or VISU or visualization objects can be added to the PLC. I have now created a standard PLC project. My next steps would be creating the program such as declaring variables, creating functions, function blocks, and actions under the main program. And those will depend on what will my actual PLC application will be, whether it's a sequential process, batching, motor control system, and many more. I hope you learned something from this short episode. Don't worry because we'll be discussing further topics on the next videos. Please do leave a comment if you have questions or you have other topics you want us to discuss in the future. Thank you for watching and keep safe. That's it for this video. If you want to learn more about Contratech Smarter Automation, you can visit our website at www.contratech.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our social media accounts. See you in the next video!